Travel the world with Glow Glossip before you pack your bags and you even get the front row seat to the world's best destinations. So what are we waiting for? Let's get the video started. Oh, and be sure to stick till the end. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Glow Glossip. Today we're exploring the beautiful city of Kutaya. I'll be showing the amazing hotel that we stayed in, taking you to the delicious breakfast buffet. And after enjoying our breakfast, we'll also check out the hotel's lovely lobby and surrounding. Then it's time to dive into the heart of Kutaya. We'll be heading towards the famous streets known for their unique workshops. Here, local artists showcase their incredible artwork. We'll visit some workshops where we'll be able to see pottery wax sculptures and various of other crafts being made. Stay tuned for an exciting day in Kutaya filled with art, culture and more. Let's get started. Okay, so last night we stayed at Hilton Garden Inn and it was incredibly comfortable. Our room was spacious and cozy, giving us a great night's sleep. But right now we're pretty hungry, so let's head down towards the dining area and enjoy some delicious breakfast buffet with so many options to choose from. Okay, so as we entered the buffet area, the first thing that we saw was the salad corner filled with all different types of olives. Then right next to it, we also found this variety of cheeses ranging from soft and creamy to hard and sharp, offering something for everyone's plate. And then there was also this fresh honey, delicious! Further on, there was also these delicious spreads including jelly, honey and chocolate. There were also these adorable little packets of chocolate butter and cheese in small containers. In another section dedicated to drinks, there were impressive selection of beverages. We found everything from freshly brewed coffee to variety of fruit juices. After exploring the buffet, we also found this waiting area next to it. And I was amazed by the beautiful art pieces on display. There were these stunning pottery pieces and even some beautiful jewelry. It is like a showcase of Kutaya's creativity and craftsmanship. Every single piece reflected the city's rich artistic heritage. The variety of craftsmanship of these artworks truly highlighted the beauty and the talent of Kutaya's artists. On our way to the next destination, we came across this fascinating sculpture displaying the whirling dervishes dance. Even though Kutaya isn't really known for having a close connection to dervishes like Konya is, but they still wanted to honor Milvana, so they put up a statue of him in a small central square that's really close to Yolo Jami. What's cool about this statue is that it actually spins around, just like real dervishes do. There must be some kind of mechanism inside that makes this dervish in white clothes spin. At first, I couldn't believe it was actually moving, but it really does move, which is super cool. After a bit of drive, we finally reached Garmi and Sokak. This street is super famous for its history and lively life. It's known for this amazing Ottoman era houses with their colorful walls and cute streets. The Garmi and Sokak is a really cultural spot where you can check out all sorts of cool workshops showing off the traditional Turkish crafts like pottery and fancy woodwork. And when we got there, we even saw a bright photo shoot happening. The bride looked absolutely gorgeous against the beautiful street background, making this place look even more amazing and perfect for photos. I'm so excited to show you around, so let's start. Okay, I just have to say, walking through these streets, it feels like stepping back in time. Every corner gives you like a peek into the Kutaya's rich history. The mix of old buildings, arts, and local crafts make Garmi and Sokak a place you definitely need to visit in this city. Okay, so let's start with the Kutaya Belzeci Kent Tahir Museum. This museum is packed with tons of cool stuff from Kutaya's history and culture. As soon as we walk in, the first floor grabs our attention with a bunch of poetry. There are shelves full of these amazing ceramic pottery, all with these super intricate designs and patterns that show off Kutaya's artistic side. It's like an eye candy with so many unique pieces to check out. And then we head towards the second floor and find these wax mannequins that look super real. They're set up in different scenes, each showing off traditional crafts and daily life activities, from pottery making to weaving. These displays give us a peek into the skills and lifestyle of Kutaya's past. The details is so good, it feels like we're traveling back in time. 
In one of the exhibits, we also saw this fascinating display showcasing a shoemaker crafting shoes. This exhibit vividly displayed the traditional methods and tools used in shoemaking. It was like seeing step by step how they shaped the leather, stretched it all together and then finished the shoes by hand. And then right next to it, there was also this another really cool display all about making horseshoes. This exhibit gave us a peek into how blacksmiths used to make horseshoes using old-fashioned tools and techniques. It really showed us the skill and the care went into crafting each horseshoe, which was super important back in the historical Kutaya times when horses played a big role. Then we also encountered a display featuring the craftsmen of making baskets. After that, we also came across this display focused on the traditional roles for women. In this exhibit, there were these really realistic wax figures showing women doing everyday things like baking bread. It was amazing to see how important women's role were in Kutaisa history, especially in tasks like cooking and managing households. It really highlights how much women contribute to their families and communities through their craftsmanship and cooking traditions. After that, we also found another exhibit where there were figures of women sitting on a traditional Turkish couches and chatting away. It was like stopping into a real living room from historical Kutaya. This scene showed us how important social gathering and family life were back then. It was clear how much Turkish culture valued the communication space where everyone could contact, share stories, and build relationships. This exhibit really told a vivid story about everyday life and how everyone interacts with each other in the old Turkish ways. This museum is an awesome place that really lets you dive into the city's culture and history with its cool exhibits. Now we're stepping into a shop filled with traditional Turkish items including these beautiful craft soaps and pottery related pieces. Each item here is like a reminder of Kutaya's rich history and artistic heritage. Okay, so now we're going towards this place called Mehmet Gorsai Chini Kongail or the House of Ceramic Tiles. This place is super important because it's all about keeping alive and showing off the art of Turkish ceramic tiles. Called Chini, the workshop is really famous for making Chini that are hand painted with a lot of care and skill. This place is like a cultural hotspot where you can see how these teeny tiles are made. They start by shaping the clay and then paint really detailed designs using bright colors. Each step shows how talented and creative these artists are. Not only does this workshop keep the old school art alive, but it also teaches people, especially us younger folks, about cool history of Kutaya. This place is like diving deep into the world of Turkish ceramic art. It's where ancient techniques blend with the modern skills to make beautiful stuff that honors the region's awesome art traditions. And Mehmet Gorsoy is a well-known name in Turkish ceramic art. He is famous for his dedication to Chini, which is like hand-painted ceramic tiles. This is his workshop and it shows us how passionate and skilled he is in the ancient craft. He grew up right here in Kutaya and developed this love for Turkish art. He learned this Chini production from expert artists when he was really young, mastered its intricate techniques passed down through generations. Mehmet Gorsay not only creates these beautiful ceramic tiles but also teaches others about Turkish culture. His workshop is a place for making art and techniques. Through this workshop and the demonstration, he shares his knowledge and love for this ancient art, making sure Kutaya's ceramics stays important. His work is well known nationally and internationally. His art decorates public and private places, showing off his talent and Kutaya's culture. As the culture ambassador of Chini, Mehmet Gursoy keeps inspiring people to love Turkish ceramics and remember this traditional craft.
As our journey through Kutaya comes to an end, I'm grateful for the rich experience we have had sharing and exploring these historical streets and cultural treasures. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out my last video in which we uncovered the reality of Pamukkale. Click here to watch and continue the adventure. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travels. Until next time, it's me, Aisha Wahid, signing off.